everyone. I am back with another walkthrough. This is the Fauna Inspiration Cards, the mini deck. And the creator is uh, Rebecca Lafabe of Avec La Vie. And uh, she collaborated on the art with Phoebe Hunt, but I believe the, um, the messages for each card are from Rebecca. Anyone who has been with me for a time, you'll know that I do have some animal decks, but I uh, am not often driven to reach for them. And so I've, I've made a concerted effort not to keep buying animal decks. At the same time, I have felt the pull this year to try and work more with, or at least familiarize myself more with animal archetypes, animal energy, um, especially as the fall was approaching. I was uh, particularly pulled to, to work with animal decks or try to. And so when I saw this deck pop up on my Etsy, recommendations. I fell in love with the art instantly and into the cart it went. I've been working with this deck since November, uh, trying not to put any pressure on myself to, you know, connect in some really profound way to the deck. I just wanted to enjoy the art, enjoy the messages, and uh, you know, take from it what I will, and that's that's been going really well for me so far. So this is a two-sided deck. Um, you have the art on the front, followed by uh, the the name of the animal and the associated keyword and message on the back. Now. This is not a deal breaker for me, having a double-sided deck. I know that um, you either love it or you hate it, but I've actually grown to like two-sided decks and I'm, I'm still able to make blind draws. So I, I don't have any issues with that. And I've been, you know, meaning to do a walkthrough of this deck for some time, but you know, I'm actually glad that uh, I was late, very late, in filming one because I got to see Laura from Aquamarine 18 and her review of the regular sized version of this deck. Now I will leave a link to that video so that you can compare the regular uh, with the mini because to, to Laura's point, there aren't really videos out there that discuss this deck. So whereas the regular size does come in a sturdy box, the mini just comes shrink wrapped and um, the corners are not rounded. So you have to round the corners yourself if you uh, want it to look like this. There is no guidebook because the writing, as I've shown you, the writing is on the back of each card. So we have a total of 57 cards and it just comes with this little uh, design card and a message on the back, Fauna Inspiration. Whether in birth or death, I have shared time, space, and energy with many souls as they have transitioned from one side to the other. These cards were conceived and crafted in honor of the spirits that have passed and those that continue to watch, guide, and connect us. May these fauna inspire and enlighten us as they impart objectivity, strength, and clarity. This is their greatest wish. Avec la vie, uh, Rebecca Lefebvre. I, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I, I don't know French. The dimension of the cards are uh, two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter, and so slightly shorter than bridge size. This is my um, 1889 Lenormand, Monza, so just for comparison, as you can see, just, you know, slightly, slightly shorter. The cardstock is called Felt Weave. 
a uh, hundred pound felt weave cardstock, which I, I've never heard of before, but it essentially feels like um, it has the texture of and the look of watercolor paper. So it's, it's, I don't know if you can see that on the screen that it's textured and it's amazing. <laughs> I actually really, really like this type of cardstock and um, it's, it's bendy. You can overhand shuffle with, with no problem. It's not sticky at all. It's just, it just, slides so effortlessly and you can also riffle shuffle. Um, I have had no problems with riffle shuffling this given that it's a mini deck and that's not always easy to do but I've had no problems with that and, and bridging even. Um, but because of the material of this paper, if you're, if you're not careful I can imagine that this could easily crease. So it's uh, worth trying to be gentler on this deck. So in Laura's video, you will see that the regular size deck does come with elemental associations assigned to each animal. So uh, fire, air, water, earth, and spirit. And uh, she goes through the deck and identifies each animal and their associated element, which is helpful. Now, as you can see, and on the regular size, you have the symbol down here at the bottom. For the mini, the cards do not uh, come with the symbols, which uh, I don't mind. And then also the creator does mention that she's pared down the text uh, for some of the cards to account for legibility, given that this is a mini deck. Uh, so I don't know which cards have been abbreviated um, in terms of text, and um, I don't know how much of the text has been pared down for, for those cards, but I do, I mean, I do feel like we could have made more use of the space, you know, maybe moving uh, the text up a little bit, um, you know, get rid of, get rid of this copyright. This is something that Laura mentions as well in her review, and I have to agree. Uh, it, it just seems unnecessary to have this copyright information on every single card. I do feel like it's taking up real estate that uh, could have been used for more text if needed. So there is that. Another thing to note is that the um, animals are given genders, which I noticed immediately, and it was it was definitely jarring to me, but I thought that maybe it was, I was just being weird about it and I was the only one, but uh, turns out Laura noticed it too and she goes into it more in her video. Uh, but I did count and out of the 57 total cards, uh, we have 28 cards that use feminine pronouns, 27 that use the masculine, and then two that are non-gendered. So just for what it's worth. Okay, now time for the walkthrough. It's not going to be in any order. And I honestly can't remember if the cards came in a particular order to begin with, but here we go. Dolphin, pure of heart. Salamander, adaptability. Turtle, duality. B, partnership. Squirrel, necessity. Horse, passion. Mouse, confidence. Heron, self-reliance. Spider, resourcefulness. Octopus, reveal. Koala, wisdom. Rabbit, abundance. Penguin, commitment. Moose, presence. Sea star, sensation. Snake, release. 
crab, courage. Hawk, clarity. Swan, love. Firefly, illumination. Chickadee, tenacity. Flamingo, consideration. Pig, prosperity. Dragonfly, peace. Lion, leadership. Snail, patience. Badger, manifestation. Camel, endurance. Coral, community. Otter, pleasure. Bat, matrix of self. Cicada, surrender. Whale, pneuma. I'll show you the word. Frog, cleansing. Raven, truth. Elephant, gentleness. Eagle, reverence. Beaver, motivation. Shark, Resolve, Owl, Transformation, Scorpion, Protection, Buffalo, Connection, Polar Bear, Camouflage, Sea Turtle, Serenity, Pelican, Optimism, Fox, Ingenuity, Raccoon, Exploration, Bull, Perseverance, Cardinal, Authenticity, Seahorse, Contentment, Stingray, Assertiveness, Hummingbird, Reflection, Stag, Vitality, wolf, instinct, puma or puma, action, bear, nurturing, and peacock, triumph. I am so in love with this artwork. I think it's gorgeous. I can't remember if I mentioned earlier that um, the medium used is uh, pen and ink over watercolor, but the result is just really, really beautiful. And from what I can tell from Laura's video, the mini version in terms of the images, there's nothing cut off in the mini version versus the regular size. So you still get the full image, but obviously the mini deck is a, a smaller version of that. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Oh, this card stock is really amazing. I really do enjoy it. All right. So, let's see here. We have the seahorse. Contentment. Seahorse is a calm and mild-mannered spirit, satisfied to amble throughout the sea. Father to many, he is dutiful and attentive, willing to bear the load. He is utterly content to be who he is, feeling no urge or pressure to be something he is not. He is accepting of his calling. When Seahorse is present, he encourages us to consider the friction in our lives, reminding us to reflect upon our perspectives 
with objectivity. In neutrality, opportunities manifest that might otherwise remain hidden. I hope this walkthrough was helpful. Again, please do check out Laura's video on the regular sized version of this deck so that you can have a comparison between the two. And as always, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Take care.